and welcome to Power Motion YouTube channel. Today, this video, we're gonna talk about e-bike, specifically the Surface 604 Rook and Co. But before I get started with the bike, I just wanna give you a little bit of a backstory. So in 2015, we went to Interbike. Uh, we met up a company called Surface 604. We also met up with Sam, the business development manager. So at that time, they have the Borg fat bike and we love this so much, we carry them. Late 2015 and 2016, he came to us and said, hey Ken, we would like to develop another bike, primarily for urban. What would you recommend? And, and so I kind of basically provided him the, the recommendation. It's really, really simple. We have high-end bike on the market, like $4,000, $5,000 high-end e-bike, and even $10,000 like Shoma bike. And then you have the really, really crappy bike that is like under $2,000. Um, a couple years ago, we got some crappy bike, $2,000 bike. Um, nothing but problem, they break down, and then when they break down, when you try to contact the distributor, hey, I need this replacement park, it's gonna take you a two months to get that part. So it become useless and get you know, some of the customer angry. And so that's how we go with, and I say basically, Sam, you need to build a bike that is affordable, but have certain quality of component. Sam took all the recommendation and uh, he implemented. So now we have the Rook & Co with the 500 mo motor, 48 volt battery. Whoa! All right, I'm pin pumping my speed. Whoa! Spring is in the air here in Calgary. It's a beautiful sunny side day. Behind me, I just want to quickly introduce you for the Studio Bell. This is a brand new building that was basically the National Music Center. It mixed with the old urban architecture with the new building. If you look at on the right hand side, that's actually King Edward. It's a really old hotel that was, uh, has a lot of historical information here in Calgary. Um, so if you're here in Calgary, be sure to check out this particular place. Beautiful space. Uh, today, this video, I want to talk about uh, two brand new electric bikes that uh, Power Motion will be going to carry. It's the Rock as well as the Co. So, we're going to get into more specific about the spec of this bike. But before I get started, uh, we already made a video uh, how to assemble this bike. So, if you are not in Calgary and you want to buy this bike, you can definitely buy it from our Eats Electric web store and uh, we can ship it directly to your uh, location. And right here, you can click on this video. It will tell you how to assemble this bike. Okay, let's get started. So let's start off with the fun. So right now I have the uh, Suntour XCT suspension. So instead of putting a really, really cheap suspension, for, they put in a pretty good component here. It's an 80 millimeter travel distance. So it gives you quite a bit of uh, suspension travel. Uh, you have two knobs here. So the, on this side here, it basically allows you to adjust the, the how stiff and how soft your suspension is. And it also has a speed lockout. So when you lock it, that means your suspension will not move and you can unlock the suspension that allow you to be able to go over bump a lot more easier. So in the front here, I have the billion headlight. It's really, really nice. The power is actually drawn directly from the battery. So you don't need to replace any battery whatsoever. Uh, going to the top, so you have the center console here. This is where your control panel is. It allows you to see everything about your e-bike system. How much battery, what's the distance, how fast you're traveling. So you have a center console. Really, really easy to be able to see what all the information. And then on the brake, you have the tactual hydraulic brake. So like at a $2,500 uh, e-bike, you already have a hydraulic brake. It's almost almost the same class as a premium class. So under $2,500, you already have a hydraulic brake. So it gives you really, really good, good stopping power. On the stem, it's an adjustable stem. So if you want to be right in a more upright position, you can make that adjustment. And then going to the front of the battery, one of the nice thing is if you get into sort of the, what I call the entry level e-bike, they generally start off with a 36 volt. So when Sam developed this bike, I specifically asked him, hey, can you upgrade it to 48 volt? But you're actually getting a longer distance when you're running at a 48 volt. And going down to the bottom bracket, so it's external bottom bracket, it's a seal bearing. So that means water, dust, dirt, 
it doesn't matter. But the other really nice thing is it actually is a heavy duty bottom bracket. And this bike is actually rated to handle a 285 pound rider. So they have to make the bottom bracket a little bit more stronger. So they use a slightly better uh, component. And going to the back, you have a built-in rack. So really, really interesting. There are two, two beneficial by welding the rack onto the, onto the frame. Number one is this rack is really, really strong. But the second really beneficial of this is making the frame a lot more stiffer. Because if you really think about it is your uh, dry train is around here. When you're riding uphill, you're gonna, you're gonna start uh, pedal harder. So you're gonna talk the bike a lot more harder. So what happens is if you have a weak frame, then they start to flex. It just makes the whole frame a lot, much more, much more stiffer. And the other nice thing is on the chain car, it has reflector here whole bunch of other reflectors so people can be able to see you and then on the wheel you also have the wheel light that is also running the same uh, power from the uh, main power right here and on the back you have the Buffing 500 motor so give you really really good power ratio and then on the dry train you have the 1 by 10 dry trains so once again they put in a really really nice component because most of the cheap or entry-level e-bike they only have six speed or seven speed maybe the best x speeds okay next i want to talk about the battery of the uh, coal so this is a 48 volt uh 10.4 m hour on this side you have a plug for the usb so it's kind of nice because uh it's very nearby the handlebar so if you're going to mount um, a cell phone and if your cell phone run out of battery you can actually uh, have a wire that connecting to here to run your USB, any USB device. Um, and then on this side, and it's waterproof, you just kind of push it back in there. And then if you come around on this side, on the low uh, side of the uh, battery casing, you have a charge port. So you can leave your bike uh, onto the frame and charge your, uh, charge your battery without taking off the battery. Um, it's also waterproof, so you just basically push it back in. And then to unlock the battery is really, really simple. You just basically put your key in and turn into the unlock position. And once you're in the unlock position, you have a latch and just basically pull it off, just like that. So now you can take off the battery and bring it inside and charge it from inside. And to put it back, basically you line up your battery at the bottom and then just snap it in. It's really, really simple, yeah. So Service X of all have come up with a really, really good affordable bike, Coal and Rock. And to summarize, uh, they basically put in really, really good component, but still provide the consumer a very, very good value as well as great affordable price. So some of the things that go into this bike that is considered valuable, like fender, quick suspension, hydraulic brake, give you a quick stopping power, 48 volt battery, 500 watt motor, you cannot get any better component and better pricing compared to any other product that you'll find in here. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like our video, be sure to give us a thumbs up or subscribe to our video. Come and check us out at Power Motion Store at the Oakley Market. Thank you.